A Republican also came out on top in the race for the 8th District Congressional seat by more than 25,000 votes. Reed Ribble beat incumbent Steve Kagan. Ribble was referred to as the underdog in the race, but now he and supporters are celebrating. Fox 11's Christian Crowley was at his election party. It wasn't your typical election party, complete with a live band and dancing. But then again, Reed Ribble wasn't your typical candidate. This is a guy who a year ago I didn't even know. He came out of nowhere. He's an individual who, uh, kind of like Popeye, he, he stood up one day and said, this is all I can stands and I can't stands no more. <laughs> so the roofing business owner with no political experience ran for office and on Tuesday defeated Democratic incumbent Steve Kagan. We, we ran a campaign that was built on ideas positive things about tomorrow, things that will work for our children and our grandchildren. Ribble arrived at the Rock Garden in Howard early in the day, pacing on his phone, preparing for what was expected to be a tight race. As the numbers rolled in, things are looking good, guys. It became increasingly clear Ribble had nothing to worry about, and supporters began to celebrate. <laughs> I've been a supporter for from the very beginning. I'm very concerned about health care and other things. Thought the country is going in the wrong direction. And Ribble maintains he will help get it on track. When I go to Washington on January 5th, I am going to listen to you. Family members say voters won't be disappointed with Ribble. I think he's a leader type of individual and he's demonstrated that, so I think he'll do a good job. And Ribble promises that's exactly what he'll do. In Howard, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. Ribble says some of the important issues he wants to work on are limiting government and its spending. Stay tuned. Reed Ribble will be joining us in our studio this morning to talk about his plans. That's happening around 845.